Hey folks, I'm Jack Fawcett, and welcome to this demo and review of the Snouse Black Box Overdrive 2. This is a killer blues breaker inspired pedal that does the blues breaker thing perfectly, but also does seemingly a billion other things, which is really cool. If any of you have watched my top 10 pedal list, which I'll be honest is it's a pretty fluid list. It's I could probably do five or six top ten pedal videos just because, you know, strikes different pedals strike me on different days and things. But this one in particular, this is my favorite pedal for two reasons, mm, three reasons. One, I love blues breaker overdrives. Two, this is a really good blues breaker. And three, this is handwritten on the back that this pedal was completed the day that my daughter Noelle was born. So that makes it really special. It's It's got this kind of date right etched in there, which was the exact day that she was born. That type of thing ne never happens, you know, so this pedal's just kind of special to me for that reason. And it is just an exceptional pedal. 
it works really well it, it like i said it can do a bunch of uh, a bunch of different things and a bunch of different sounds but it's also very easy to dial in a basic tone now this is the one that has the internal dip switches as opposed to the model that has the switches on the outside and i do have this on standard mode so real quickly of course you've got your basic three controls gain tone and volume you'll notice that i have the presence turned off on this video and what i found with the presence is you really need it if you need it and that's kind of it it's it's not something that you uh, again a lot of pedals people love to start at knobs at noon and i found that the presence more adds than detracts at least uh to my ear so and it sounds more blues breaker-esque to me with this pulled back however if you have a really dark rig or if you're running it in conjunction with other pedals and things are starting to get mushy that presence can be really really helpful so but i'm keeping it off for this video and i like to keep the boost a little bit lower now the boost is a preamp boost it's almost like a second drive knob essentially it's it almost you know in layman's terms kind of acts like um these are almost like two different types of gain knobs and things and you heard that it, it gets fatter and a little bit more raucous and a little bit edgier if you use the boost i like it with just enough of the boost that you're really kind of starting to it's really starting to give your tone a little bit of muscle but i prefer personally the character of the regular gain knob over the character of the boost now you can do a lot of different things with this pedal you can you know use more of the boost and less this gain there are other ways to set the dip switches on the interior there's a way you can set it where the boost and the presence are bypassed you can use it as just a clean boost there's a lot of different things you can do i'm not going to cover everything in this video the way that i'm showing it to you in this video is the way that i like to use it this is the the kind of some basic tweaks on the gain tone and volume and showing you a little bit of what the boost does but for the most part my favorite setting on this would be with the presence off the boost right here at about 10 o'clock I like the gain kind of getting up to about three o'clock where you're really getting the character it is a low to mid gain overdrive so i like it when you can start to hear the character of the pedal coming through and then of course volume and tone kind of to taste depending on the amp i'm playing into and the guitar that i'm using but again there's just so many ways you can dial this pedal in and really not a lot of bad sounds in it and really very tweakable depending on what your rig is and everything so you just heard with a fender stratocaster next we're going to play with a gibson es345 plugging into a franklin amps 5e3 tweed deluxe let us know in the comments do you use blues breaker style overdrives first of all have you tried any snouse blues breakers because this is not the only one in their line and it's not the only one that i love either they they have the blue line pedal which is like a blues breaker pet fans dream uh, just kind of does a, a thousand things and does them very well down to much simpler basic three knob ones and the mini one have you played any snouse pedals let us know in the comments let us know what you think of this pedal stick around for some more tones i'm jack fawcett please remember to like share and subscribe and i hope you enjoy the rest of the video